to start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow by the AutoCAD icon. Click new. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open. Now I'm going to open my reference drawing. I minimize it here, down here. And arrange the window side by side. So go to view, select tile vertically. Just gonna adjust the windows. I'm gonna make this one bigger. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow by the view cube and select parallel. And go to custom view, click this one and select top view because I'm gonna start working from top view, which is this one here. Now, as you can see, the distance from this endpoint to this endpoint is 120. So I'm going to start working with line. So L for line. Click anywhere on the screen. Move your cursor to the left or to the right and enter 120 units. Bring it down for 70 units, which is the height. And another 120. And type C to close. Now, as you can see, these are broken segments, so I'm going to join the segment. So type J for join, command, right click to enter and just window the whole thing. Now, this is one object. Now, bring your drawing to southwest, I, oh no, southeast isometric. And what I'm going to draw is this wall here. And looking from right view, you can see that the height is 80. So I'm going to draw a line. From this endpoint, move your cursor upward for 80, 80 units. And to along the y-axis, enter 70. Bring your cursor downward and hit that endpoint and click this endpoint. Now, I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command and just window the whole thing. Now, this is another object. And for the arc, this one here. And uh, you can see the distance from the center of the arc is 40 from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just use the guide. So L from endpoint upward for 40 units. So this is going to be the center of the circle. So type in C for circle. Click that endpoint. And as you can see, the direction of our circle is parallel to the direction of the plane. Our plane is here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to move this one here. See the UCS? So this is the X and Y. So our plane is here. And you can see, if you can see it here, it's quite dark. The grid is here. So this is this face here. Is where the plane is. So I'm going to change direction of the plane. Go to solid. Oh no, home. And I can do that by using Z axis vector inside the coordinates panel. Change the direction of the Z towards this direction. Now the plane has changed. You can check the grid here has uh, moved. And um, the X and Y is uh, parallel to this one here, this face. Alright, so I'm going to type in C for circle. Click that in point. And as you can see here. The distance from here to here is 70, which is also the diameter of the arc. So type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 70. Now, I can draw a line from this point to quadrant. Right click to repeat line, this point to quadrant. And another line from this point to this point. I'm going to trim this portion here, this uh, thing inside. I'm going to use TR for trim command. Right click and select the cutting edge here, which is from here. Because this is where, this is the portion that we're going to cut. And enter and click this one. I'm going to join the segments. So type J for join command. Just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. And... Um, yeah, I still need that for another circle. So C for circle, click this in point, 
and this circle here is the radius is 12.5 so just enter 12.5 another circle so this circle is just a guide for the smaller circles so uh all right the radius for this one is 20 so type in c for circle click that in point and enter 20 for radius another circle so c for circle click the quadrant here and the diameter not diameter radius is three so enter which is this one here uh this one all right so i'm gonna bring this drawing to right view so i'm gonna array this circle so type a and you the options here are arc array polar select array polar select the object you want to array right click and specify center point of array click this one here and then you can change the number of items inside the ribbon or you right click and select items and enter four and enter again now i can erase this one this one is just a guide to so delete and um, bring your drawing to southeast isometric or you can press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse i'm gonna extrude this object so inside the modeling panel select extrude command select that object enter and extrude it towards the direction for six units which is the thickness and I'm gonna poke a hole so use press pull command inside the modeling panel hover over this object left click let go of your finger and left click again same process left click let go left click again and the next step is to um, create a hole or extrude this one first I'm just gonna hide this um, object here so it's gonna be out of the way it's easier for me so select the object right click and hover over isolate and select uh, hide objects I'm just gonna delete those we don't need those anymore all right so I'm gonna concentrate on this one here which is this uh, wall here and I'm gonna extrude this one oh, first I'm gonna draw circles so the circles for this one is this dashed circles here so one two three four and the distance from the corner which is this corner here from this corner along the x-axis is 10 and along the y-axis is 20 so what i'm gonna do without using construction line so type c for circle right click to enter and specify center point of circle first you can shift right click and select temporary track point just hover over this endpoint here don't click and uh, move it to this direction for 10 units and enter 10 enter bring it downward for follow the green dash line downward for 20 units and uh, enter three i think the radius is three all right i'm gonna check yeah it's three and the distance between these two circles is at 40 so i'm gonna copy this one so i'm gonna bring this first to right view easier copy this circle and from center bring it down for 40 units now I'm just gonna mirror so type MI for mirror command select these two right click to enter and specify first point of mirror line so midpoint to midpoint and click that perpendicular point and select no and enter now I'm gonna extrude this one for six units so shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time select this one like extrude command bring it in for six units turn your drawing around shift key and the wheel of your mouse again i'm just gonna turn off the grid because it bothers me 
and use press pull command inside the modeling panel hover over this uh, circle once it turns blue left click let go left click again left click let go left click same process and enter now i'm gonna hide this one too so select the object right click hover over isolate and hide objects i could delete those now i'm gonna concentrate on this one which is this one here so looking from top view so i'm gonna bring this one to top view and create an arc and the distance of this arc the center of this arc from this line here is 20 units as shown here so what i'm gonna do is create a construction line so l for line from midpoint to midpoint another line from midpoint towards that direction or to your left for 20 units and c for circle click that and enter six for radius which is this one here and the distance between the center of the arcs is 20 so i'm gonna copy this one copy selection from center to the left for 20 units and draw a line from quadrant to quadrant repeat line quadrant to quadrant now i'm gonna trim so type in tr for trim command enter twice and you can cut that right away now join the segments so j for join command we do the whole thing now mirror so m i for mirror command mirror this object right click and specify first point of mirror line from the midpoint here or from that in point to that in point erasers objects select no or just enter now i could delete those now and to draw this arc as you can see here the distance from the edge or from the bottom is 10 to the quadrant of the arc so i'm gonna draw a line from midpoint upward for 10 units and draw another line since um the radius for this one that is 35 so it means that the distance from this point from this um, quadrant downward is 35 so what i'm gonna do is uh, draw another line in point downward for 35 now so this end point here is the center of our circle so c for circle click that and just click that in point so this should be 35 units so i'm gonna double click to check and as you can see here it says um 35 so i'm just gonna delete those delete this one and trim so tr for trim command enter twice remove this one remove this one and i'm gonna mirror this arc m i for mirror command select the arc Oop, where's my drawing there you go specify first point of mirror line midpoint to midpoint and enter trim again tr for trim command enter twice and remove this one now i'm gonna join the segments by typing j for join command and just window the whole thing i'm gonna bring my drawing to southeast isometric and extrude this one you can type in ext for extrude command enter select the object and enter and enter six units now press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and select press pull command just hover over once it turns blue left click let go left click again and i think uh, we're okay now so i'm gonna bring the hidden object so 
just right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and in object isolation now I'm gonna apply fillet as shown here the inside fillet is uh, 6 and the outside is 12 so go to home or solid and inside the solid editing panel select fillet edge and um, radius option and enter 6 for this edge here it's not working because we have still have to union the objects so go to home select union command inside the solid editing panel which is this one here and just select the whole thing now this is one object okay go back to solid and select um, fillet edge and go down to the command window select radius enter 6 enter and select this edge shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and enter and click this one enter and enter again to accept now right click to repeat fillet edge you can just right click to choose the options or you can go down to the command prompt I'm just gonna right click and select radius and enter 12 click this edge and click this edge enter and enter again and I think let me check if we're done I think we're done so I'm just gonna minimize this one so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. See you again.